So that is going viral. Police and WOWT 6 News want to know what was that all about? Good evening, I'm Mallory Maddox. And I'm John Nicely. The attack was recorded by another driver following the anger. And after posting it to Twitter, it went viral. Brandon Scott has been in contact with the man who recorded the video and the victim. And he joins us from 72nd and Pine where it all happened. Mallory, the victim is a teenager and in the, in the video, his attackers appear to be two grown men. Now, the victim didn't want to go on camera because he's just too shaken up by all this, but he did tell me the video only shows the end of the story. And this road rage incident actually started with the attackers throwing a drink at his vehicle. Then they pulled their vehicle in front of his, got out and started pounding on his windows. He got away and made it here to 72nd and in Pine. That's where he stopped at a red light. And that is where the attack continued and the video begins. The video is almost unbelievable. Two men wailing on the windows of this Jeep parked at a red light. Inside, three teenagers. Today we spoke by phone to the mother of the Jeep's driver, who is a minor and thankfully got away unharmed. That was just absolutely insane. I, and I just, my heart stopped when I watched the video, and I'm so glad that he just got away from the guy, or guys, I guess, the two of them. After the video was posted on Twitter, it went viral, catching the eye of Omaha police who went online asking the public to help identify the victim. What's the worst case scenario in a road rage situation like that? Well, that someone could get hurt, you know, seriously assaulted. Sergeant Jason Manning is not investigating this specific case, but as a traffic officer, lately he's seeing more and more road rage. Generally, we would like to see that everyone stay in your car, remain calm. The Omaha Police Department doesn't keep track of the specific number of road rage incidents because road rage itself isn't a crime. But if that road rage turns into assault or destruction of property, that's when drivers could face serious charges. The victim's mother tells us their family most likely will not press charges, and Omaha police haven't contacted them yet anyway. For now, she's just glad her son did the right thing, getting away without making this dangerous situation even worse. Oh, I was very, very impressed with him because he knew to not confront somebody that was absolutely that psychotic for absolutely no apparent reason. And the victim's mother also tells me that her son is trained in martial arts and is a second degree black belt, so he could have defended himself. But she's proud of him for just getting away. And John, we should tell you that the mother asked that we didn't use any of their names in this story because she was concerned that the uh, attackers might try to track them down. So that is why we kept everything anonymous. All right, Brandon, sounds like police might be making progress too. Brandon Scott reporting.